Okay, so the power's down over here. Yeah, it's a pretty common issue in Pakistan. The power goes off for hours maybe. You need to have backup energy. It's called a UPS. So it's a battery that basically charges when the power's there. And when the power goes down, it supplies electricity to your home. We also need to have backup generators, but the generator broke. I, the spinning belt inside the generator broke. <laughs> and yeah, I'm sitting here without power, home alone. Yeah, my family's gone away. So I thought, why not just record a video? And I wanted to record about a video that I was watching. It was an Andrew Tate video. And basically, he told about how you have to play with the cards that you are dealt. That the only two options you have is either you play the game or that you give up. And interestingly, recent enough, there's a guy in our Da Vinci gang in my Discord community, in my school community. And I was talking to him and he told me, he asked me this question, do you use a Wacom or a mouse to sculpt? And I was quite intrigued. I was, I was, why are you even asking this question? Do you sculpt with the mouse? And he said, yeah, I sculpt with the mouse because I can't really afford to have a, a to buy a graphic tablet yet. And, and to be honest, when I look, looked at his sculpt, the sculpt that he was doing, it's so much better than what some artists are making with a graphic tablet. And he's just a 14, 15 year old kid. And the dedication that he has is, is just amazing. So the point I'm trying to make is that, yeah, it's true. You have to play with the cards you are dealt. If you can't afford to buy a graphic tablet, you can make an excuse that, yeah, I just can't really learn how to sculpt because I don't have a graphic tablet. But this kid, he has more determination than you. He's more dedicated than you. He's making the best of what he has. There are so many people who won't even start Blender because they are, the laptop that they have or the PC that they have it's, isn't really the latest specs. They just have an old graphic card, maybe 4 gigs of RAM and... Uh, maybe a core i5 7 generation but there is someone out there with the same specs and he's creating art he's learning what he wants what he's passionate about he's not making excuses so if you make excuses now you're gonna make excuses for the rest of your life no matter what stage you are at if you establish the habit of making excuses it's gonna carry over and yeah, I do get that some things are not possible. You can't sculpt if you don't have a laptop or a PC. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about making the best of what you have. Of playing with the cars that you are dealt with. Some people, they don't start a YouTube channel because they think that they have an Indian accent or a Pakistani accent. But this is where you were born. You should be proud of your accent. Accent is never the problem. The problem is when you don't speak clear enough. There are so many good Indian YouTubers, Pakistani YouTubers who make videos in English, but they, but they don't complain about it. You can be in a country where 3D is not really, is not really popular. I mean, even in Pakistan, when I was studying, when I wanted to study, there wasn't any education over here. For 3D, I was I started learning through Blender, and then I was fortunate enough. I'm really grateful that I could that I could afford an education in Malaysia. So I went to Malaysia. I got my 3D degree over there. But yeah, you have to make the best of what you have. You you only have two choices. What are you going to do? Are you going to give up? Are you going to make excuses? Or are you going to make the best of what you have? Are you going to put in your best effort? Yeah, speaking about this topic also reminded me of a friend I made in Malaysia. He was a Persian guy. He's from Iran. And at that time in Iran, even YouTube was banned. So literally, Iran is a place which you can't learn 3D by going anywhere. But yet, this guy, he, he used a VPN. He got on YouTube. He had to wait for the video to load. The internet was pretty slow back then. You had to wait for the video to buffer before you can watch. So yeah, he waited for the videos to buffer. He downloaded cracked softwares and learned ZBrush. He learned Maya, everything. And this guy was around 34 years old 
when I was in the university. He was the, in the same class as I was. He was a man by the time I was studying and he was in university. And he was so skilled than the rest of the entire class. He made the best characters. He was the best at lighting. So yeah, you the, the limitations that this guy has, I, I don't think that I had or anyone else in my class had these limitations. But he made it through. He was studying with us. He was creating the best art. And the reason he was studying so that he could just get a degree so that he could get a job. And now this guy is working in a senior position in a company in Malaysia. He's settled over there. So what excuse do you have? What excuse can I have that I don't want to work, I don't want to learn? We take the things that we have for granted. We're not grateful for the things we have. What, what we do is we just complain. I wish this were better. I wish that was better. There is someone out there with so much worse conditions than we are, than what we are living in. And yet he makes it through. It is his passion. It is his dedication that brought him so far. He was born in a country with the, the, where there isn't even YouTube. YouTube was banned over there. And yet he studied it. He learned it. Whatever he was passionate about. His art was literally the best in our class. His characters were the best in our class. He was actually capped because the university wouldn't allow him to use ZBrush. They, they capped him by making him use only Maya because that was what the university was teaching. He couldn't use Substance. He couldn't use ZBrush. He only had to use Mudbox and Maya. So yeah, there is someone out there with such worse conditions than what you and I have. And they they add it. They keep at it. So what, what excuse can I come up with? What excuse can you come up with? We need to be grateful for the things we have. We need to be very grateful for the things we have. We take everything for granted. So yeah, whatever, whatever condition you are in, there is something, something you can do. There is something, there is some best effort that you can put in right now. When I had a shitty laptop, I, I used to render all night when I, when I would go to sleep. That is when I used to render. But now I have a good system. I, I worked and then I, how do you say it? I gathered up money, I saved money and then I invested everything I have into my PC. And now the same rendering, it takes very less time. This is just an example. I'm nowhere near the guy that I just gave you an example for. I'm nowhere near the kid that I just told you about. I've been much more fortunate by the conditions that I have. Yeah, my father really supported me financially. But, but these guys, they supported themselves. You, you really need to be grateful about the things you have. You, your conditions could have been much worse. So much worse. What are you sad about? So yeah, make the best of whatever you have. There is always a best move in the chessboard. Life is a chessboard. There is always a best move. There is always something that you can do your best at. So no matter what condition you have, no matter what issues you have, there is always going to be someone with similar conditions who is going to outperform you. Who is going to do it instead of making an excuse. So be that guy. Do whatever you can, whatever you can think of, whatever you think is the best move right now, do it. And then figure things out on the way.